All right, so I have this wall right here in the office that I just feel like needs a little something. And I had this piece of art out, which I really like. I think it would actually go well in here. But then I remembered I have these and these are, I think it goes like this. Yeah, these are from my bedroom. And I can repurpose them in my room again. I don't know if I will. I think if anything, they'll actually look really lovely in here. All right, so I'm thinking about making a change to this section. Um, I DIY'd the inside of those cabinets with black poster board. Just so you can see, I forgot that the sides are like that. So I'm gonna have to also cover that side. I don't really need to do that side. Um, so, but I will need to finish that. But honestly, I just placed these here, like from the movers. These were, these were in my bathroom, but they've been in different places since I've bought them. They're wonderful, fabulous, love them. But I just think that it just, it doesn't go. It doesn't like flow with the vibe. So I'm, gonna remove it and do something else. And this is what it looks like without the like topiary plants there. I actually do like this a lot. Now this wall is super bare. So, but for now, I don't have any idea on like, if I wanna add wall art here. Here it is from this view. I just think that the topiaries were just a little bit too much and I like the brown of my little vases. I think they're so cute and I got to repurpose them and I definitely have like brown tones going on in here as well with this piece. So right now I wanted you guys to be able to see this tree. Now I do have to fix the fabric on that. So I'll be taking that down and trying to straighten it out a little bit more, but this tree is just super underwhelming. I don't know if you can really get, like that's just, that's too small. I think that something a little bit taller can definitely change the space. So I'm gonna re be repurposing this little tree in my bedroom maybe. The next thing that I think that this room needs, I actually need to remove these books. Yes, they do look super cozy here, but it's just the color palette is not making the rest of this room kind of come to, I guess, you know, the life that I want it to come to um, or the color palette that I really am searching for. I think the books are definitely throwing it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them and put them in my craft room. All right, and I think that actually just changed the space entirely because what I am going for is more of a clean space, not so much like traditional slash vintage. Now I'm going more for like a modern slash organic farmhouse style. And I think the books was changing the face of this a lot. So by removing it, it's now, giving that clean aesthetic I've been searching for. Let's start off with this wall and I will link everything that I can down below. This wall is very bare. I don't know that I actually want to do anything to this wall, but if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. Keep in mind, I do wanna keep it as clutter free as possible, but this is a very large wall. It's hard to kind of see it through camera, but it is looking pretty bare. Um, you saw that I did remove the topiary plants and I put these touch of brown faces here. I already had them on hand. I believe I acquired them through Hobby Lobby um, when vases were on sale. And I just love that I've got my three main colors here, my greenery, my black, and my brown. And then of course, the cream in the rug. This fireplace TV stand I got from Amazon. It'll be linked down below. And then I just have like a vintage art um, displayed on the TV. You can do this through YouTube. 
Um, so it just looks like framed art, but it's not. It's actually like rolling a video. Some of them are set for like a couple hours. Some of them are set for like all day and it'll even like rotate and change. I have it like on a spring collection. You can just search through YouTube spring TV art and you'll see what kind of comes up. All right, so stepping back, the first drug that I picked was so completely wrong for me and it was actually more expensive. So I was glad that I was able to return that and I got this one instead. I love it so much. I think I might actually do this same rug in my bedroom. 10 out of 10, super soft and fluffy, easy to vacuum, easy to clean. Um, Cause I've already had some <laughs> spots from Loki with his slobber, but yeah, I think that it gives it that light, airy look. Plus, it pulls out the color from this. Plus, it pulls out the color from the top of this artwork. So it does this really nice balancing act. And then, of course, we have my desk. My desk is from Crate and Barrel. It is quite on the more expensive side. The reason why I ended up biting the bullet on this was because I actually found it pretty difficult to find the right black desk that I wanted. And so... I just kind of went for this one. I'm glad I did. I love this desk. Um, so the desk remained the same and the majority of the furniture has really remained the same. Like this was in the last office, this was in the last office and this media or sideboard was also in the last office. I actually consider changing the sideboard as well. And I think eventually I might, I want to do something black um, and just kind of keep all the furniture pieces black. But for now, it's like, you know what? No rush. I'm just gonna stick with this and see how I like it. And it works. It definitely works. It breaks up all the black. So, you know, and obviously I already had this piece. So it's just nice that it is working in the space still because last time in my office, I had more of a vintage look. I had that, um, hunt and full cry picture the one with like the english riders and the foxes and the dogs and the hunting um but obviously i'm going a completely different route in this house and i'm trying to make the entire house cohesive um, so if you haven't watched my other spaces i'll link them down below pretty soon i'm going to do a full house tour so stay tuned for that back to the desk i actually had these two pieces here which i got from home goods i believe and in the last house i actually got them for the living room but they weren't quite working in the space after I decorated the living room, which I'll link down below. And then I put it in here and I'm just like, yes, I absolutely love it and it works. Then I have this vase, which was in my dining room in the last house. And I knew I wanted to style some sort of vase here and already had that on hand. The only thing I had to do was buy some additional green stems. Um, and I think this works well, but I could see myself changing out the stems maybe in the future. So, but you know, here's a look. Then of course my candle, it's something Christian something, I don't know, LaCroix or something. I got it from Home Goods, by the way, in case you're wondering, it smells amazing. And then the next thing that I was having a problem with was that I used to keep my computer center on the table, but with this layout, you could just see the wires. It was just way too bad. It was way too messy. It really kind of took away from how beautiful the space was looking. So I looked up some pictures on Pinterest and I saw somebody who had a desktop because most pictures that you see on Pinterest, they don't have a computer with wires. They have their Mac laptop just sitting in the center and you see no wires and it looks super clean. So finally I saw someone who had a desktop and they centered it to the side and that way the wires kind of ran off to the side. So that's what I did here and I love it because it's not blocking, like this big chunk isn't sitting here blocking the chair. So you do get this nice view, you know, when you walk in, you know, the, this is what you see. 
The only thing I have to do is I need to secure these wires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run them under here and secure it through the back so that they're not just like hanging here. So just know that is something I'm going to do. Plus I just bought a cable box from Timu and I'm gonna put all of this in here. So this box is going to hide all of these wires and it's gonna be like this white creamy color so it'll blend in with the carpet. The only thing I don't don't have a choice of is this like I don't I don't know how, how to fix this honestly so if you have any suggestions on that let me know but maybe I need a different um, one of these that has a longer cord and that way I don't have to split up the two cords so from this view you get this look however I am gonna move this cart I just kind of wanted you guys to see it over here first but I'm actually going to move it to this back corner that way when somebody walks in or you know whatever it just it's tucked away in this corner and you don't see it right away Okay, actually, I don't I don't really like it. Plus, I feel like it's gonna end up over there anyways because I can just turn my chair and grab for it. So we're just gonna put it back. Now, I didn't wanna really release this video today because the tree that I ordered for the space hasn't come in and it is hard for you guys to see it, but this tree is incredibly underwhelming in this space because the ceilings are so tall. I'm gonna repurpose this tree somewhere else. I did get it from Amazon, I love it, absolutely love it but I just think something two inches taller will be so much better and I did I did try to elevate it like it's literally sitting at the top of this piece because I had such a vintage look in my last office and I had a lot of gold tones I had a lot of colorful elements from the books and the hunt and full cry frame I'll link my last office down below video and you can just kind of go see the difference there um, I knew that those lamps were no longer going to work and I had this one lamp which I I had in my dining room in the last house and I'm not gonna lie it was pretty expensive from Amazon and now I'm so angry at myself for not doing a search on it first because I was like okay I know I needed a second lamp now that it's going from the dining room to this room I knew I was gonna want two lamps I just the one lamp and it not being balanced is not a thing for me so I went back to Amazon and I was just like, oh no, not, not another one of these, but I really do love this lamp. So I knew that this was just going to look perfect in here, um, but it was sold out and I'm glad it was sold out because it forced me to kind of like do a search on it and I found it somewhere else for half the freaking price. So I'm so mad. In the rug and it pulls out the cream in the photo and now let's talk about this photo because it's actually rolled canvas. And yes, there's a little snag up there that I do need to fix, but this is the same exact size and the same exact um, frame that I did in my dining room. So here's my dining room one. If you haven't seen this video, I'll link it down below. And this canvas is from the same company, juniperprints.com. I did select the rolled canvas. So anyways, it's very simple. I didn't wanna add anything else to this wall over here. Again, my goal is to really be a little bit more on the simpler side and then I had to switch out my chair. I knew it was something that was also going to kind of elevate the space a little more and I got this chair from Amazon and oh my gosh, it's a beauty. It is just so stunning. Yeah, so changing the chair to being something that's more fabric and you don't see like the roller part. Let me show you my other chair in case you forgot which I've repurposed in my craft room. But here's here's my chair. You know, you've got the roller part, which is great. These rollers are fine. This one actually looks very professional, very nice. And I was gonna need a chair for this room anyways, but the fact that it just, like, look at this. I mean, for me, it's just no denying it. This just looks so much better, so much cleaner. And when we swing around this way, I did put this art over on this wall. I thought I needed something else. Otherwise, when you really are sitting in this space, you know, with nothing here and how tall the ceilings are, I knew I was gonna need additional artwork. And as I've been organizing and 
you know, getting decor from the last house is not quite working in each space in this new house. I have a closet in the craft room where I've been keeping all of my leftover wall art and I forgot about these. These were in my bedroom in the last house. And I was like, these will be perfect because it'll fill up the wall nicely. It'll go more vertical. So that's gonna be lovely. Plus it has the same shading. There's like white flowers and the sky, you know, it just, it just goes so well. Anyways, that's it for my office reveal. Like I said, I will link all of my decorates with me is down below. I'm gonna link all of this furniture that I, that I possibly can if it's available down below. Stay tuned for the tree update. You'll probably see that in an upcoming full house tour video. And I hope you guys liked it. Let me know which office space you like better. Do you like this one better? Do you like the last one better? Um, it's all very different. It's even very different from my office in Florida and the office before that. So you can really kind of see like the progression of my style through the past years. But I hope you guys got any inspiration from this video and I'll see you next time.